Joining me now to discuss this is the Director, Marine Met Meteorology and Climate Department, Nigeria Institute of Oceanography and Marine Research, Regina Falonsha. Thank you very much for joining us at this time. Now, what do you believe are pressing environmental issues facing the planet today, and how can we invest in solutions to addressing them? Okay, yes. Uh, the end day is for creating the awareness about uh, the dangerous levels which uh, carbon dioxide is emitted into the atmosphere and is going to cause us catastrophic uh, uh, circumstances. For example, we are going to be losing uh, some species, some plant species, some marine species, some animal species are going to be lost and eventually it's going to affect human beings. Now, we look at these things and we think that, oh, is it possible? Yes, uh, 250 million years ago, we had the great dying. That is, most of the species on the Earth planet died, human beings included, and the whole place was deserted because of emission of carbon dioxide from volcanic eruption and other gases such as methane. Now, this can be likened to what we are doing right now. Our methane levels are going very high. Carbon dioxide levels have gone very high. As a matter of fact, we are at the tipping point. And the important thing to watch out for is whether our individual actions can enable us to retrace our steps. Before, Because if we do not retrace our steps, we are going to have a free fall and we are going to experience what was experienced 250 million years ago. Now, we will be saying that, oh, this challenge of climate change is so immense and endemic that it is difficult for you and I to do anything about it. No, you and I can do something about it. It depends on our choices. It depends on us, our decisions to affect the environment, the earth, positively. For example, you and I can stop buying very huge cars that needs a lot of gas mm. to run it. When, as a matter of fact, it's only one person that drives in that car back and forth from office. If you buy a smaller car, you use uh, what you will emit a lower carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now, what about planting a tree? It should be something that we should embrace. Everybody should plant a tree. Everybody should have some form of gardening in front of the house or in the countryside so that you will know that, yes, the carbon dioxide you are emitting is being uh, taken on by the plants and oxygen is coming down to, to earth or okay. to us. Okay. So we, 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 with what you have just said, now we see a situation where when a, state, a city like Lagos as a cosmopolitan city where um, there are no spaces even to... Um, have a mini farm in your in your uh, compound or and all of that and it it has sort of brought about an issue with um, climate change being a global matter for everyone now looking at what you have said and all of this issue what do you think should be the role of um, governments and international organizations in all of this especially as it relates to the environment Yes, uh, we are supposed to encourage or, um, you know, push the government to understand these issues of climate change and how to reduce carbon dioxide emission. We are supposed to, you know, especially those among us who uh, can be able to influence government decisions to leave parks and gardens and not build houses on it so that children can go there, plant more trees or any space available should not be converted into housing units, but should be converted into green of the environment. Yes, we are in a cosmopolitan uh, city and a mega city for that matter. Mm -hmm. However, most of us have parapets, we have corridors, and that does not stop us from planting uh, golden palm trees or uh, uh, bougainvilleas, and that, that is also a source of absorbing the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and giving back oxygen. Even in your bedroom, there are trees, uh, there are plants called snake plants that emits enough oxygen. So our local choices can help. 
I want to uh, point out one of the most devastating aspects that we do not see as important. For example, we can stop using plastic bottles to drink water. We can revert back to using actual bottles. But that, there's, there's, the issue, is... there's the issue of um, recycling. The government has always said we should recycle our bottles. If we go back to uh, uh, normal bottles, the broken ones, how do we encourage recycling that will save the environment? Yeah, recycling is a good concept. But let me tell you, when Malaysia at a point invited every country to bring his uh, plastic bottles for their recycling plan, they found out that they were not able to do that. You cannot be able to recycle all the plastic bottles about 20 million uh, Lagosians use. Because even the way it is disposed of, it's in a very dirty, uh, what, uh, it looks dirty and cannot be recycled. But the best thing for us to do is to revert to using bottles. That does not need recycling. Because even recycling, you need energy for that. And energy to recycle that bottle emits carbon dioxide mm. into the atmosphere, which eventually will increase our air temperatures. And that will uh, siphon oxygen from the atmosphere and it will affect plants, it will affect animals. Eventually, our health will be at stake. Mm. All right, Director, Marine Meteorology and Climate Department, Nigeria Institute of Oceanography and Marine Research, Regina Falonsha, thank you very much for talking to us this uh, afternoon. It's a pleasure to be 